Photographs deconstructed with Simon Q. Walden. When constructing any kind of picture, whether it's in studio or on location, although I think it's more frequent on location, you will see bits of stuff that can be used. And it's always worth thinking about how can I imbue a level of symbolism with that particular piece of, in this case, grotty wood. When I saw this and, and Freya was just standing in front of it, I knew instantly how I would do that. And that's this crucifix position, and that's what I asked Freya to pose as, though she had been crucified on this post. And you'll see there's not just the horizontal post, the wooden post, but there also there's a hint of the vertical post created by the corrugated ironwork behind. Now, maybe you saw that as soon as you saw this picture, maybe you didn't, it kind of doesn't matter. The point is, is that um, particularly in our Western culture, we are very attuned to seeing many, many, many images of the crucifixion. And therefore, it keys into a very kind of deep subconscious part of our mind and, as, and instantly associates this new image, which is not about crucifixion at all, it's, it's, she's, you know, she's just standing there, but it instantly associates that image with all of our feelings about the crucifixion and the broader thing of, of you know, our perceptions of Christ, of religion, of our faith, and so on and so forth. So uh, I'm not a big fan of casual props, the gratuitous prop. I want a prop, or a, in this case, I suppose, a, a pose in an environment to feed into each other. And if we can feed in a subtle way a piece of um, guidance or history or just past experiences in our viewer, then subconsciously, if not consciously, we will trigger a whole set of additional emotions and uh, content in the mind of the viewer. 